welcome to this vlog we are in santorini we arrived safely the flight was a nightmare literally i was so scared i cried on the flight i actually cried he went to land and the winds were so bad that he couldn't land so he kind of like landed a little bit with one wheel or whatever and then he went back up i was so scared i looked at claudio like the fear i was so anxious as well it was just really bad and then basically the air hostess was like we're gonna try and land again don't worry it's completely normal it's just really windy at the minute so we tried to land again and we did eventually land but the plane was rocking like that and then when we landed everyone started clapping and i was crying tears were like oh no i was embarrassed obviously because i was crying at the end of the package of lace i've just finished it's just fallen on the floor um yeah the tears just came natural down from my face like oh embarrassing but it was really 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 like horrible ending to the flight the flight was actually fine it was just the ending that was bad so yeah we're in santorini now we're gonna go to the beach today um i'll take you guys with me from now on obviously i had a couple of days well not a couple of days nearly two days just chilling and not really vlogging or on insta much but i'm back now i'm in the game so i'd give you a little room tour before the room gets super messy so this is our room we are staying in kamari so it's kind of like the beach i think this is like newly refurbished so it's got kind of cute deco and then there's the bathroom up there, Claudia's on the phone. Um, we've got a full length mirror, which I'm very happy about. Hopefully I can get some outfit videos in this one. Then you've got the sink, which is in the bedroom, and then the bathroom and the wardrobe behind Claudio. And then obviously we've got a nice little boo. lunch at the hotel um, right at the bottom of the street from our hotel is it's basically all restaurants on the seafront but this is like the last one my eyebrows are still look really intense because i had them done just before we left probably a little bit of a mistake but um it's so nice here there's such a nice view and the staff are really nice we just ordered pasta claudio asked if the chef was italian <laughs> she's like no <laughs> you're in greece man <laughs> you've got a greek chef okay <laughs> deal with it <laughs> So um, we, we're basically just sharing both. So we got spaghetti with tomato, and we got this salad which was unreal. And of course the pasta, the guy was like, <laughs> "Can't you order the salad?" <laughs> no, we're sharing them both. And the guy was like, "I'm sure the pasta is for him." <laughs> I was like, "No, hun, it is for me. Thank you." And then he's hot. Cloud has also ordered a random avocado. Just, he loves it. We're just leaving for dinner. It is a 25 minute drive away. Um, we're on time, but we're a bit nervous because obviously we've done all the roads and stuff. So we're going to go on the bike. I've actually just done my hair makeup and I'm going to go on the bike. So I hope Andy, it stays. Doesn't fit me. It's great. Does it not? You're going to have to put it on though. It's not big enough for your head. Nice so um, yeah, I hope my hair makeup stays in place, but we shall see. <laughs> oh, there's something in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Are we walking so fast? <laughs> it's so windy. Claudio is into it. It's a nine course meal. We've had bread so far and Claudio thinks it's gonna be good. So, so this is um, fish and zucchini um, and a pea sauce, I think. And that's a pepper with um, buckwheat inside. Thank you. the beach we've just set up ourselves on this bed super cheap it was like 20 euros for the bed all day just 
see what I'm going to see. Morning, it is the next day. We've just come down to the beach. I'm going to get Claudia to do a food review later because he has to. Um, we're just going to do a chill day today again. And then tonight, also chill. We're going to go into Fira, I think, tonight for dinner. So it should be nice. And then tomorrow we're going to Oya for the day. And we're actually thinking to extend the holiday for a little bit because we just feel like super chilled and it's not that expensive to just do another couple of days so we might stay, I've never done that before so maybe we're going to extend Claudio constantly wants to play beach tennis with me like I just want to chill and he's like beach tennis, beach tennis I was like we need to have a child so we can play beach tennis <laughs> oh you've lost the ball now I just want to lay here and relax got him asking for beach tennis Oh, okay. Oh my god, he's found a friend to do it with and he's so okay. happy. He's just asked some random guy to play with him and he's like so content. Thought I had some fruit because I didn't really eat much at breakfast. This looks so good. Claudio, Claudio's neck is burning. <laughs> we just came for lunch um, just at one of the hotels on the where we are, so it's like Bellonia Spillers. We're staying up quite close to this. Uh, we just ordered some food. We're just gonna have a chill lunch and then go back to some food. Oh my God, I'm so hungry and excited. So we got chicken salad. Obviously, Cloud is gonna eat all the chicken out there. Um, oh my God, I can't wait to eat it. And then we got fried potatoes with truffle mayonnaise, delicious. And then a halloumi wrap. Uh, halloumi wrap, we had salad, chicken salad, and we had chips and some bread and dips. I would say overall, it was a good 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, wow. I think it was a 10 out of 10, all because these truffle were banging. And I had truffle mayo, which is all I want in life. I need. Keen now, he wants to go get back in the sun. So we've ordered this thing to share. Um, normally I don't eat meat, but we're going to give it a go. Some sort of rib scenario, Claudia's excited about it. Morning, it is the next day. Sorry I didn't vlog much last night. I think we just went for dinner. Such a nice place though. So good, the food was unbelievable. And then we just drove back on the bike and went to bed. I had a little early night because we've got a big day today. We're gonna go to, I said Oya to the lady down the stairs and she said that's wrong. Um, it's not pronounced Oya, it's pronounced like Oi, something like that. So I am pronouncing that wrong, but we're gonna go there today. I booked a nice lunch for us. We're gonna shoot some content this morning, then go for a nice lunch by the sea. I'm quite excited to go there. And that's the plan for the day. Should be a nice, nice day if Claudio, if Claudio can shoot good content and he can pull it out the bag, then it'll be nice and easy. Yeah, it's called Hyasta Taxi Guy. And this is the view. Just did a little video down there. How lush is this? So, so nice. I think we're gonna go and try and find the Blue Dome. It's famous. Oh, I think it's up there. I think that's it. We've stopped for a drink. We've ordered a dessert. Uh, 20 minutes before we go for lunch. 20 minutes before we go and eat lunch. I got them. Wow. It's good. It's good. Okay, we arrived. There was so many sets of mics. The calves are on fire. So it's right by the sea. We're gonna try and see if we can get a boat back because this is not fun. We have arrived. So pretty. Oh, I saw that. Very lucky with the table, I think. We were very lucky there was one available here. And literally, we are right on the drop. What are you laughing at? Why are you smiling? Okay, to start, 
this is my main because it's all fish seafood so I'm gonna have this as like my main thing it's a beetroot and avocado salad quinoa and then we've got halloumi Claudio Sata I'm gonna have Claudio give you a quick food review I've only tried the linguine so I haven't tried all the pasta but the linguine are very soft and the fish was, was good but I was expecting a little bit more of you know, a place like that. I was expecting maybe the uh, in a little bit more fresh. I think I might have hyped it up too much because I saw so many people say it's amazing, it's amazing. I was like, I'm taking you there for the pasta. You know, it's not somewhere it's good. It's good. It's a good place. But yeah, it's good. And it's like an experience because of the food. Yeah. So like sunset would be nice, but the food's not like phenomenal. I would recommend to eat, try the pasta. I recommend you go for a fish, like yeah. lobster or I think they got fresh squid. Well, there we are. Debs on the food review. That's, I think that's two food reviews this whole this vlog. We've done really well, but the view is really nice. So these are the same stairs that we did before going to the restaurant some sort of thousand steps I don't know how much how many but that's where we're coming from here she is and that's where we've got to go I think we've got five more minutes and then we are arrived I gave up on the content how I had four outfits in my bag and it was no more after lunch. I'm so hot, I sweat. So I've just a bottle of water on my head because I'm just too hot. After walking up them steps, I was gone. I was out of the camp. There was no save in my hair. I just, you know, it was too hot. I just couldn't I even do anything. The thought of changing again. So we failed a little bit on. We did two reels, didn't we? So it's yeah. not so bad. So I was just a we did two reels and we had a really nice lunch um, and now we're just going to go back to Kamari because we're like Gary by the beach by the pool and there's loads of wind down there I'm going to go in the pool and just like chill for a couple of hours because it is so hot and it was lovely it was nice when I oh, oh yeah, 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 did you say it? yeah, it was nice it was like really really lovely it's so pretty exactly as I thought it would be in the pictures um, it's just quite a lot of people busy, way busier than Kamari and lots of people basically and so hot like I took my shoes off at one point to do a reel and the heat on the foot stones and obviously there's no beach so I don't know if you could if you stayed in here would you, you wouldn't have a beach would you? Um, I think there's a beach on the other side oh okay there may be a beach but it's down like loads of steps but there's Kamari we've got the scooter my hair up in a bun and I'm literally just gonna go and dive in the pool because I am boiling it's 28 degrees got oh, this Hansa G Hansa G swimsuit on and we're off got a gyros pasta. Oh. I can't love his pork. It's Mushroom. pork. Darling, there's pork in it. Any, no, 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 pork. I can't. It's pork in the in the sauce. It looks delicious though. You're, you're really missing out. <laughs> Thank God. Um, like a little kebab and fries. <laughs> this is an amazing, I think this is the best restaurant you can eat in Kamari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. Best restaurant. We're looking for typical products. Uh, you want something that is quality cheese, quality ham, stuff like that. So Come good. Here. 100%. Yeah, the food was delicious. It was like amazing. So Claudio has just finished off two desserts and he's left a Google review. Like a super long Google review because he loved it so much. <laughs> like he's a top fan. His favorite place. So good. Moon. 
it's out now instead of the sun. And we can't wait to get to the beach tomorrow. Didn't really vlog much for today because we just literally went to the beach again. And I feel like there's no point to keep going vlogging, just going to the beach. So we literally just came back chilled. I edited some reels on the laptop and now we're just going for dinner. Chilled one again tonight. I've got no makeup on. Well, I've got a little bit of makeup on. I've just done like a bare minimum. Look, my eye was really swollen when I woke up this morning again. So I'm not going to any eye makeup on because I can't. I really don't want a swollen eye tomorrow. So I've just done like a bare minimum. I've got this dress on. Um, it's a sleeper dress. How do you, will you hold this so I can show them my dress? Like this. Down, tilt it down a little bit so they can see it. Ah, the other way. Yeah, that's it. Sleeper dress. It's cute. It's super comfy. And um, I feel like I can have it for so long. I bought it because I thought yeah, I'll fit in this forever. Hopefully. Um, I got in an extra small. Down to the floor. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we just left the scooter there. It's our white one. And hopefully they've got a table because we couldn't book. Claudia's dressed all in white, nice and smart. Wow, look how big, big this is. So many places to sit. It's massive. We are sitting here. We've got this um, mushroom burger to start with potatoes. We've basically shared a main to start and we've got some bread and oil. I think it's going to be good. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. I have the pasta. I'm to do our video. A lot has happened since I spoke to you last. We've actually moved hotels. So we were originally supposed to leave today and go back home. And then we thought we would just extend for a couple of days. And we extended basically and we're now in Thera. So before we were in Kamari, we stayed at the beach. Our hotel was so, so nice. Really good because we had the scooter so we could just get around. But if we didn't have a scooter, I don't know, because we have come up to um, Thera for dinner quite a lot. So then we were like, do we stay in Ia or do we just go to Thera? Um, and the restaurants I booked were in Thera, so we were like, let's just go to Thera. Thera, I hope I say that right. So we've come there now, we just booked like a last minute hotel, quick one on booking.com, moved today, and now we just chill by the pool all day, and now we're gonna go for dinner. I also filmed some reels today um, on the balcony, and I'll show you quickly the hotel. I mean, it's a bit random, but um, I'll show you the pool and stuff. So basically the pool's down there, and um, there's just like all these little buildings. We've got like a little tiny balcony. Um, it's just like a super basic place, but it's good for just two nights. We've just come, we've got this kind of nice garden thing, and uh, just heading up for dinner now. The little boss of us starving. Get some bread. <laughs> So Claudia's starting off with this waggle thing. It's huge. So if he eats all this, I'll be very impressed. He's ordered like 10 things. So you better eat it all, I'm telling you now, okay? I'm not sharing any of this. I've got a vegetarian one. This smells so good. I thought this was chips, but it's crisps, so. How is it? Good? They moved over here. <laughs> so I thought we could basically just do like a little get ready with me to finish the vlog. I'm not sure how much footage I've actually got throughout this vlog. I don't know. I think maybe like under 10 minutes. But I'm not sure. It's been really difficult because 
normally I can vlog like in restaurants and in like all different places and I can talk through as we're doing it but even like I did a one yesterday with Claudia doing like a voiceover of all the dinner and I can see what he thought of everything but then there's music playing in the background and I can't put that in the vlog because of the music playing in the background I haven't got the rights to use the music in the vlog so basically I can't put it in the video so I thought we would do a little get ready with me and I'll talk you through like what we've been up to or what our favourite things how much money everything costs because we have spent quite a lot of money here so first of all I'm just going to put this uh, vitamin and rich face base on I use this quite I mean I've got like three favourite primers but this one's just like really nourishing and like moisturising and I feel like when I go away my skin dries out like I've got dry patches around my eyes I'm not sure why I had them in London before I came as well these dry patches it's been really hard to vlog and do Instagram content and switch off because I'm such like a I'm always thinking of content so like for example if something really good happens I'm like oh, I wish I vlogged that or oh, then I'm like trying to get my phone out to Instagram and I'm just like I never switch off like I was lying by the beach in our last hotel and I had like an idea of a reel in my head and I was like right how am I going to do that then I was writing my notes what outfits I'm going to wear and then I just feel like whenever I switch off my brain thinks of ideas which is good obviously because you need that like being like because creativity is part of like the job but it is really hard to switch that off so I've been really trying but I mean I feel like the last couple of days I have been way more chilled which is probably why I vlogged a little bit less so I bought a NARS tinted, tinted moisturiser so I've been going back and forth with that and the Armani Beauty it's called Luminous Silk I bought this eyeshadow palette as well before I came <gasps> It's so, so nice. Like, I've used it so much. Nearly every night, I think I've used this one. So, yeah, faves restaurants wise, I think. So, basically, let me just tell you what, how we did it. So if you haven't obviously watched the vlogs, you kind of know. But now, coming to the end of the holiday, I can kind of like explain. So, basically, we stayed in Kamari, which is the beach part of Santorini. Claudio loves the beach. She's proper, like, well, obviously, he lives by the beach, so he's, he's obsessed with the beach. So that's why we went to Kamari and stayed there. And also, you get so much more for your money in Kamari. Like, when I was looking at the uh, hotels in Ia and Thera, it was so expensive. Like, I liked a hotel there, and I priced it up for five nights. It was, like, £1,700. Like, we couldn't find a hotel cheaper than £1,000 that was, like, a decent hotel. So then we were, like... Claudia was like, I want to stay by the beach anyway. Like, can we not stay in Kamari? So if you're going to stay in Kamari, which to be honest, I would suggest. Somebody said to me earlier on Insta, like, would you recommend staying in Kamari or Ia? And it all depends, like, what type of holiday you want. Like, if you want a beach holiday, then obviously Kamari. If you want like the views and you want to be like by the views every day, then obviously you need to stay in like Thera or Ia. Um, I've also had this spot the entire time, it just wouldn't go away. So now this would be where I would have my sponge to dab it all in nice, but I haven't got the sponge. So I have to do it with this, which is not ideal, but we work with what we got. So yeah, starting from Kamari. Kamari, Lush. The beach is like rocky, so you need to buy like little rock shoes. Otherwise you just hurt your feet the entire time. It was a rocky beach. Not like a really sandy with like super clear water. It was just like a rocky, no, like a normal beach. Claudia always talks about the water in places, but I'm from Wales, do you know what I mean? The only beach we've got is like Port Hall, or I think there's like Ogmore, there's like a couple of beaches. They're all right, but they're not like a mouthy ghost. So Claudia's the more fussy one with the beach, but he said it was nice. He was like, I wish the water was better. And I was like, hand it's a beach. You know, go for a swim, chill out, play your bat and ball game, and like enjoy yourself. Don't worry about it. So, He's getting a bit, I think, more low maintenance the longer we're together with the beach. I've gotten my contour stick, which is unfortunate. So I've just been using this cooler caramel bronzer because I forgot. And I also got limited brushes, so I'm working with what I got. We ended up um, going to Bolognese Villas twice for lunch. And then dinner-wise, we only actually ate on Kamari Strip one time for dinner. But the place we went was so, so good. Um, it was like all local products. Like they had a, like a shop inside with all the products that are for local from you. Oh my God, it was so good, I can't even tell you. I had like a pita bread. I did vlog it a little bit, you would have seen it. It was the one where we were like on the beach and we were looking out, we could see the sea. Claudia loved it and it was so good for money. I think it was like 
80 euros like for the entire thing and we order a lot of food for that so that was canary done beach uh we it was 20 euros for a bed at the front of the beach so good so cheap in italy me and Claudia normally pay like 50 euros for two some beds so we were like well impressed with that <laughs> Um, so if you came you stayed in Kamari, you actually wouldn't spend that much money. It's when you come into Thira and Ia, you spend the most. Like, the last couple of days, it's been a lot. Our first dinner was not in Thira. It was, like, just outside, I think. And um, it was called Santos Wine. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. The food was stunning. Obviously, I got it on the vlog. Um, the food was stunning food was so good again the staff amazing couldn't do enough for you and just like such a nice location i think it's like somebody's getting married there at the time so cute and the dinner came to eight euros like i was like oh my god that's so good like so so good so santa's wines definitely if you're staying in clary go there love them and then we went to another restaurant called kalia in thera which was good that was one with like all the flowers and stuff also very good uh, again staff are lovely can't do enough for you we had a pasta you see Claudia's face with the pasta they loved it I'm gonna do the Nas prep prep Nas little prep thing last night we went to Cavos Cavos Targos so this was like highly recommended by so many people on my insta like I did a little poll and everyone was like go there go there go there so I booked the restaurant. I didn't realise um, I didn't realise there was a minimum spend. I just kind of booked in, didn't think about it. And on the way up, I was reading the email and the taxi, and it was like 100 euros per person minimum spend. And I was like, Claudio, I've got something to break to you. <laughs> it's 100 euros per person. Um, I don't know about that, but yeah. And he, he was like, are you serious? And normally, obviously, we were spending like 150. It's normally like you have to spend that amount. It's like a little bit of pressure, you know? Um, but honestly, it was stunning. Like, the food was really good. And the, it was more the experience. It wasn't the food. Like, the food was good. It wasn't like the best food we've had since we've been here. But the experience was like a, a memory. It was like a special thing. Sorry, this car's going fast. I'll just wait. Basically, we went to Cabo Tago, Ta Cabo Tago, I hope I say that right. Um, we started off at the dinner table, which was like, obviously they all got like a sunset view. And then we went on to the bed afterwards. We basically finished our meal there for like an hour and a half. And then Claudia was like, can we just go down to the bed and finish like our crisps and just like chill out? I was like yeah that's totally fine obviously they're so lovely and she was like yeah you can go down there so then we moved to the bed and like finished our little nibbles and like had a little drink down there which was so lovely but yeah i would recommend it Cabos Tagos. it was amazing such a lovely experience such a nice memory we had like a we had such a laugh there and just like chilled but yeah it is expensive like don't go there thinking that you can spend less than 200 pound on dinner because it's a minimum spend so i just want you guys to know that like um but however they do do other experiences like i was asked i was chatting to the girl when i was there she was saying like um they do sort of like dinner and drinks nibbles so you can like do that if you didn't want to go and spend so much on the dinner you can just do like the dinner and drinks i'm not sure how much the minimum spend is on that but i saw a lot of people just coming in and doing that because they just went on the bed had like a glass of wine and some like little bits and then they headed off so i think that that's like a really popular thing as well obviously if you didn't want to spend as much it was kind of like what we did on the first night um which i know i vlogged like watching the sunset by the pool it was similar to that again that was so fab i'll put the name of that one as well on you because i can't remember it. i think it was like ali that was on the bottom of the island we went there on the scooter it took us like a half an hour but I know there are a lot of people stay in that hotel because I had loads of messages on Instagram like yeah I stayed there, I stayed there and I think that's quite a popular one as well that dinner was like a nine course meal everything was like super posh it felt like, um, like a Michelin star restaurant it was unbelievable like the plates were coming out they were so making sure you were okay I was eating like wild stuff like <laughs> stuff I've never tried before and um, the sun set over the pool and somebody got engaged when we were there I was trying to get a video for Insta and um, basically we looked over and this couple were getting engaged and I turned around to Claudia I was like oh that's so nice <laughs> um, 
So yeah, that was fab as well. I forgot to mention that one at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to the Black Island now. I'm just going to go like this. Using this, Sky High Maybelline, such a good mascara for such a good price, it's like £10 for the whole thing. But I am disappointed in myself because I didn't show my outfits that much on the vlog and I want to say sorry for that because I feel like I should have been a little bit better on showing my outfits. I know you kind of would have seen them because I've, I've dropped in stuff that I posted on Insta and I know you like, but I wish I showed you guys in the mirror like every time I went out. But it was just hard because obviously we only had that one mirror in Kamari and now since we've been here we haven't got a mirror so it is a little bit difficult and I feel like I was rushing some nights because I had um, jobs to do like I had a couple of campaigns to put live at certain times and they always managed to be at the time as we were supposed to be going out so I was kind of always rushing in the evenings That is it for me, my hair now. I'm, I am going to go and do this, curl the front of it, but honestly, I'm not going to do that much to it because I kind of like it. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I kind of wanted to end it, just having a little chat to you all. Um, and just want to say thank you for watching. If you've got this far on the vlog, and then thank you so, so much. Let me know if you like this and if it is actually worth vlogging holidays. Because I know they don't get a ton of views, but I kind of feel like it's nice to come not come on holidays with us but you know what I mean like come and experience it a little bit and then I can like tell you what I thought of things and like give some honest reviews to you guys so I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you next Sunday